Hey, what's up guys? So, doing a little update video here on some moving around that I did with the fish. Uh, I guess you could say I kind of downsized, but ultimately got to where I wanted to be, where I wanted these certain fish to be. Um, so, I got to scrub the front tank of one of the tanks because the one that's uh, right over my sink because I took... I ended up taking the Pleco out and putting it in this tank because it was terrible with algae. Man, they once they get big enough, the Plecos are amazing at cleaning. They will clean your tank if it's like full of algae all over the glass, rocks, plants. They will clean it within 24 hours if it's if it's big enough like the ones that I have. I'll show you here in a second, but um, letting the wife kind of clean the clean up the sink a little bit. And she's the wife in the tank. It's got algae on it. But anyways, hold on one second. All right, I'm not waiting for her anymore. Okay, so <laughs> she she doesn't want to be in the video. It's okay. She can be in the video. All right. So, anyways, this is my 55 gallon above the sink. The one that I have, um, African cichlids, my my magma flower horn, and um, I've got a green terror in here. Where is the green terror? Uh oh. Oh, there he is. So anyways, yeah, this tank has been working out just fine, which is crazy. I've got the electric blue, and then they're all very hungry right now. But, and you can see the algae's building up. And less than a week just from taking the Pleco out. I do have snails and stuff in here. And I have a very tiny, tiny algae eater in here, or Pleco, but it's, it's always hiding. It's really cool looking. It's just so tiny. But anyways, yeah, the electric blue Texas... The, the different African cichlids, flower horn, um, green terror. And then, so I did have a tank in the back room. Uh, I still have it back there, but I'm not, it's not in use. I had my two electric blue Jack Dempsey's in there. I ended up taking them out and I put them in here. So in this tank, I have the offspring of the uh, brilliant jewel cichlid it's an african cichlid and that's the babies that you see in here beautiful they're absolutely beautiful the mom unfortunately died but look how pretty that is but i have my electric blues my electric blue jacks in here now there's the pleco i was telling you about wonder if i can hey kristen you got some food And throw some food in here and get them to come out. And that's the jewel cichlid. So this is my 75 gallon. So all it has is the the babies of uh, these these jewel cichlids and the the dad of the jewel cichlids. That's all of them right there. She just put some of their food in, which is like a vegetarian diet. There's one of the electric blue jacks. And people say they don't live long, but mine have lived quite a while. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And there's the other one. There's the bigger one. Gorgeous. I love jacks. There's that big pleco. I love jacks. So what I did have in here was a male and a female jack. And when they got big enough, I took them out and I put them in the big tank. So I wish they would come out more so you could see how pretty they are. They like to hide, but the uh, the thing was when I had them back in the tank in the back room, they would they would they were so sketchy if you walked by like even just to let the dogs out or whatever they would dart like the one would dart and i was worried they were going to die from stress and i i guess just from not seeing us walk around enough they were just so shy look at that little one with the oh he had a lapel in his mouth so but they're getting their they were kind of getting dull in color but they're starting to get their colors back now this glass is a little bit scratched up, so it was a used, it was actually the first tank that I got. The 75 gallon. 
But um, so anyway, so that's all that's in that tank. There's that electric blue. Yeah, they get kind of like a grayish color, especially if they get stressed out. And then my 125 gallon, which I've got my big, humongous Oscars in there. The Jaguars, they are hungry. So this was one of the jacks that was in the 75 gallon that I put in here, which I definitely believe to be a male. Beautiful. Look at them all. <laughs> Stars, and there's my big jack. There's my gold psalm green terror. We've got three fire mouse in here as well. And there is a female. There's a female jack in here too as well that I put in that almost died. This this one almost its tail was completely gone completely gone um and we healed it with meloflex and it's grown back it's had a very good speedy recovery <clears throat> but yeah um everybody's doing good oh there's the what i think is a female of the jack it's still it was so nipped up from that meal when they were in the 75 gallon but everybody's doing really good everybody oh spilled some, <laughs> spilled some food on the floor there Kristen anyways everybody's doing really good um sorry I haven't put any videos out lately I've just been bu real busy with work this time of year but I'm really glad I'm really happy with the way things are and I can't wait to see those electric blue Jack Dempsey's get bigger and thrive in that tank. They've been in there for, I think I put them in last weekend. I mean, that's just awesome, man. I love, I just love the coloration of these fish. I love the, the fire mouse, my Jacks, the, the Jaguars, the Oscars. They're just so majestic looking when they swim in the water. It's such a pretty tank. Um, and I appreciate everybody that's um, subscribed and liked and commented. Feel free to continue to do so. And um, NPI, I noticed people have had questions or um, suggestions. Uh, I'm all for it. And if I respond a little late, I'm sorry. It's just because I didn't happen to see it. But I try to comment back or reply to anybody's comments so yeah don't forget to subscribe like and comment and i also do have for anybody that is watching this i <clears throat> posted a couple when i first started my youtube channel i posted some a couple different things some car videos some gun videos i have a lot of <laughs> i have a lot of hobbies and um anyways um the one I have a 2019 Dodge Challenger and people I have a video of me doing a burnout that I just threw on there for the heck of it and people seem to really like it so I'll probably have some content coming out with that as well if you're interested um, but other than that I will keep the videos coming with the aquarium stuff and uh, yep that's all I got. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Stay grinding.